So not only are there many crypto coins out there and it's confusing enough as it is to decide which coin to mine, but there are also different algorithms to be able to mine on the most profitable algorithm at the moment, which is ET hash. You need to have video cards with at least six gigabytes of video memory. For CalPow algorithm, for example, you don't need as much memory as you do for ET hash. Today on Let's Go Guy, I am going to be explaining some differences between the algorithms and how you should be calculating your profits and hash rates properly to have realistic expectations of what you will actually be mining. Stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm going to be explaining the differences between the algorithms that you can mine on because there is some confusion, especially with those still starting out in mining, where you think that, for example, mining on ET hash and my mining on Kalpal is going to give you the same profitability and it's going to give you the same amount of crypto coins that you're mining, but that is not the case. To explain this better, I'm going to show you my miner on the screen at the moment. So at the moment, I am currently mining the Shiba coin on Unminable, and I'm using the ET hash algorithm as you can see here. Now here I'm getting a total of around 272 mega hash, it's saying around 263 in actual fact but it, it'll get closer to 272 mega hash. It could be because I am taking my rig over at the moment remotely as well. So that might slightly affect the hash rate as well. But overall, it's around 270 mega hash, okay? And this is on the ET hash algorithm. The difference here is that when I'm mining here, for example, the 3080 is doing 104 mega hash on its own. The 3060 Ti is doing 60, the other 3060 is doing 41, 1070s are doing 28. On the Cal Pal, these hash rates are going to be lower. They're not going to be the same. So it doesn't mean because I'm getting 263 mega hash on ET hash, that I'm going to be getting 263 mega hash if I decide to mine on CalPal, even with the same video cards, even with the same mining grid, it's still going to be different. So here I'm going to open the unminable website and I'm going to give you a demonstration of what I mean. So if I'm on ET hash, I'm currently mining, for example, Shiba coin. So if I'm mining Shiba coin and I'm mining it at, let's say 270 mega hash, I'm going to mine around 1.9 million coins per day as at today. Now, if I do the same thing, but let's say I say I'm going to mine on the CalPow algorithm instead, and I put in the 270 mega hash as well, that's going to say that I'm going to mine 2.9 million Shiba coins per day. And you'll instantly say, wow, that's going to give me more profit on the CalPow algorithm. When in actual fact, it's not because you're not going to be mining at the same hash rate. And to also check this instead of actually mining to know what your hash rate will be, a pretty good calculator is the nice hash profitability calculator that I have open here. So if, for example, I put in my 3080 that was making around 104 mega hash on the ET hash algorithm overclocked. Here on nice hash, it's going to tell me that on CalPow, for example, it's going to make 46 mega hash. Dagger Hashimoto, which is the ET hash algorithm, here it's saying 96 because that is the default hash rate on overclocked RTX 3080 cards. But obviously, with some fine tuning, you can get it up a bit more. So on mine, I have tested this out on the CalPow algorithm, and it's not going to get 104 on the CalPow algorithm. It's going to get less, and it was around the 46 mega hash that they are stating here. So it's very, very important that here, when you calculate your profitability on the different algorithms, it could be ETC hash as well. It's important that you check either online calculators to see what your card is going to do, or the best way to do it is to actually start mining and check what your real results are yourself, and then enter the figure here. I know for a fact that my total rig will do not 270 mega hash on Kalpal, but 106 mega hash. And there is going to be a big difference there. So at 106 mega hash, I'm going to be making 1.2 million Shiba Inu coins a day 
at the current price at the current difficulty level on unminable with et hash at 270 i was going to make 1.92 million shiba inu coins a day so the difference here is around 700,000 shiba inu coins so that is very important and it's good that you know how you should check this and how you should calculate this it's the same for when you use random x a lot of people make the mistake of actually leaving this on et hash and calculating whatever they're getting on their cpu and they're probably seeing something like one or two hash per second not mega hash and they'll just enter it here 2000 so I'm going to make 2000 hashes per second on random X, but they forgot to change the algorithm here. It's still on ET hash. So they're going to say, wow, I'm really going to make loads of Shiba coins with just CPU. That's not going to be the case. You have to make sure to switch this over to the correct algorithm and then put in your hash rate. And if you put in the 2000 now, you'll see that it'll, it'll go down significantly and I'm going to make 12,000 Shiba Inu coins a day on 2000 hash rate per second mining with the CPU. So just make sure to keep these things in mind because they're very important and they could give you high hopes and different expectations of what you are actually expecting that you're going to make. So just make sure that you really do check that you're clicking on the right algorithm and just because you're making one hash rate on one algorithm it doesn't mean it's going to be the same on the other algorithms as well so guys i just wanted to give you this bit of information because there are a few people out there that are confused by this and i hope that this video will help you out as well let me know what you think down in the comments below as always if you have any questions and i can help you in any way let me know and i'll do my best to answer your questions to the best of my ability if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do so down below hit the like and until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.